ah, and if a boy just got me, yay, back me, me to me, little yeah, you might. Hey, and the professor, okay, I read. Hey, and then what should be pressa, pressa, pressa. No, fellow Ghanaians has never looked so unhappy. And come by now, oh yeah, by now, oh yeah. I mean, see, I don't see that I'm here, no. Oh, see, I'm going to come back, but I see, I don't know, see, I don't know. So, I'm going to need to bring us on, ma. I'm going to tell you, 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 and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how Muntaka Mubarak proved that no matter his years of experience, a Tema West thief man can never, ever match a senior Tichinga and Pampers dealer of Asawase. That's a foul. Total foul. <laughs> if you're fast, I'll be hurry up. <laughs> oh, man. What a way to start the year. This is back page on City TV. Uh, my name is Caleb Good on DSTV. The channel is 363. I am genuinely, genuinely happy for Papa Jasko. He was almost on his way to becoming a Mugabe, you know. And b believe me, sir, if you're watching, uh, this is a blessing in disguise. And um, now you know what's required. You understand? <laughs> Dan Suman Magadia or Bagging Gang. It was fun watching you deal with the men boot for boot, bumper to bumper. You understand? At a point, I was confused. I was confusing the whole thing with some kindergarten pupils playing in the sand. But I'm told it was dates rush in Parliament. Nothing could be so beautiful. Something muscular. Man, this year is the year for Grobatons. So let's go across the globe, Charlie. Let's close. Great, so welcome to the show again. I am happy this parliament thing has overshadowed those court court issues. I mean, Sarah says you're right, right, says you're right, right. No one me demit and I'm ho yela yela me. Uh-huh. But when I hear that grow buttons <laughs> then my spirit has come <laughs> yeah <laughs> several heads of state within the west african sub-region within the africa region and in fact from across the group have their eyes on ghana and intend to visit and grace our occasion <laughs> Across the way, the group. Hey, four pious has moved from Australia and now he's across the group. <laughs> That's something to jubilate about, but he's not a happy man. I mean, he called me to say, look, um, delete that post from Facebook because I had earlier shared this on Facebook. And he, um, he was like, and don't dare take me to that your comedy show on Friday. I said, oh, actually, I am on leave. Now, so who don't I say, I will resume to come and make you proud. <laughs> You know, subtle conversations like this, and you know, you don't know they are joking, they are playing. Before you know, believe me, someone is searching you for weapons and but the she and we in your shoe and your sauce at other places. Boss and Okla Wu. By your honor, very much, by the way. I had I had my mask. Well, in I, I had I had I had I had I had my mask in my car. When when you are a police journalist, look at you. I've been wearing a mask, and you are accusing somebody for not wearing a mask. You say that you want to blame him. I have so video the testing. I have my mask inside my car. You came to stop me. So if you if you are a white person, I'm you know I'm not. If the police are searching, you you're not okay with it. Go to the moon. Yes, I will. Go, other, we are searching. I will not go to the moon. I will go listen, to the court. Listen, That's listen, where I have every right to go to. <laughs> Did I hear right? Can you imagine that? And this is a, a journalist now above the law. Bra bra bra. But that search you saw was it within the law? And who told you that people can't see beyond this? Who told you? 
Ah, even Martin Amidu said that uh, he was threatened. So yeah, these days, when you share a joke, care, joke, lo, people say, oh, hey, my brother, be careful. These days, power is in the hands of emotional people. So you have to be careful. I hear they even want to find the MPs who did not vote for uh, Professor Jasko, and they will punish them. Can you imagine? What kind of vindictiveness is this one? <laughs> people grow up already. Grow up. I mean, if you don't have a hand in this harassment, and if it is not beyond what we're seeing, make sure you deal with that moon. Sorry, I mean, <laughs> the one we say is on the moon. <laughs> he trained on the moon. Deal with the moon. And let me say regards to all those who are trained on Earth. Muya Colette, you understand? Now to the man of the moment. Competing with ruminants. Except that, I mean, he chose ballot papers. And um, this is how it all went down. Enjoy. Someone has taken the ballot papers. Someone has taken the uncounted ballot papers. Is that Carlos Ahinkra? That's Carlos Ahinkra, isn't it, of Tema West? <laughs> Is that Carlos Ahinko? Amazing stuff. On December 7, someone snatched a ballot box. He was gunned down. On January 7, exactly a month later, an MP snatches ballot papers in the lawmaking chamber, attempting to chew the papers into his chamber. And <laughs> he had an armed soldier man guarding him while he made calls to update his bosses, chastise his juju man, and of course to collect some funds from his, uh, <laughs> his laptops. <laughs> If you're in he gave some apology. It was so funny. Oh, uh, this life never balanced, you see. And I am very sure Carlos will receive presidential honors and credentials as an astute and honorable politician and all them plenty adjectives way fellow Ghanaians do. I did take the hip hip in appointee stuff. Because if you look at things very carefully, it was the Swami Magazine MP, the former majority leader, who instructed and made straight the way for Carlos to carry out that whimsical and callously capricious, perish the thoughts, agenda of stealing and chewing, oh my God, and chewing by that paper. How can you turn a whole somebody's father into a good, into, I um, mean, uh, 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 but thank God for Asawasi Sutra, so scared. Is that Carlos Ahinkra? Counted ballot papers. Is that Carlos Ahinkra? Is that Carlos Ahinkra? Counted ballot papers. Is that Carlos Ahinkra? <laughs> no, it's not. I don't believe it. Me, I don't believe it. That's right. Tomorrow again. My only worry is that um, the anti instant justice campaigners no they now have more work to do because even our lawmakers are showing in the lawmaking chamber that justice in ghana is a buffet serve yourself now because <laughs> if you don't do it now you go to court <laughs> shout hallelujah <laughs> because seriously montakas sutra wasn't the only one we saw in parliament far from that there was a complete showdown, kickboxing, auditioning all day inside. Hey, Parliament, don't go there. Don't go jump slap. Hey. So they seem to have devised a methodology, still showing it to them how they vote. This is indeed interesting. But who is trying to go there?
There's a real fight. There's a real fight. This is unsightly. This is unsightly right now. Pushing and shoving um, the Honorable MP for Betifi, Brian Echampo. So there was an attempted, some sort of a false takeover of a seat on the majority side. And that resulted in the trading of words, stamping of tables, stamping of feet on the ground. And it looks like everything is going haywire here uh, so, on the floor so of the house. Uh -huh. So you saw the kickboxing part, the NDC Jinapo, he, he put the martial pull on the way, go kick that to hey. But who of us are now seeing how a kum sing in that for me was just as frightening as seeing the military, you know, and military because she you know <laughs> to to pay to to <laughs> no 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 but um you are not now but how i mean i'm proud of you and thank you for sparing us possible gunshots already the parliament the roof has been leaking but you didn't um fire anything instead you teamed up with the uh, sister Kia, and uh, <laughs> you gave us a nice rendition of the I love you. It was nice. Mahawa, wa wa wa, mahawa, wa mahawa. Oh, down on my fight with your big balls to throw. Well done, Hawa. I'm um I'm I'm proud of you. Like I said, one two two, and I'm really proud of you. Uh, may I also give Kobina Tahiru Hammond, Katie Hammond, um the applause he deserves. I mean, when others were giving commands for ballot sheets to be stolen and chewed, he was he was in a Jedu's words the emissary of peace. KTM. The Minister for National Security is just walking in with KT Hammond all night. KT Hammond has worked as the emissary, the peace ambassador here tonight. They are insisting that the military and the police should leave the precincts of parliament before anything else happens. An interesting night. Now, Katie Hammond is just the enigma he is because when the NDC side got there earlier and sat on the right side of the speaker clad in all white, he was the first to cause some proper commotion, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Katie. Okay, so Katie Hammond, Katie Hammond, Katie Hammond has just entered. Katie Hammond has just entered. Katie Hammond, who was rumored to be out of the jurisdiction, has come in and is actually. Yes, shouting out instructions to the minority to move. Uh, he's a known rabble rouser in the house. Is he the senior most MP yes. in, in, the, in the parliament now? Very, very, very interesting. Telling them that they, they should move. Shame, they should move. Uh -huh. So it's, uh, so it's, so it's pushing out instructions that. Like, and asking yes. them. Who is telling the them to move? That's Kwabna Donko, his very good friend. Kwabna Donko, his best friend. From primary school, yes. His best friend. MP for From Pro, primary school. Pro, Pro MP for Pro East, yes. MP for Pro West, yes. Wow, this is amazing. Yes. Hey, Ejedu Yachire Mukokotio, that's Kwabna Donko, his childhood friend from primary school. Now, oh, hey, I'm sure if we let you, would have told us his children, their wives, their side chicks. Ejedu spotted, you understand? I'll deal with that gentleman later. But then, um, later, while talking to Bernard, uh, you know, <laughs> Katie Hammond actually gave this year's participants of Spelling Bee uh, a bit of some headache. Enjoy this. <laughs> I mean, you can't do that. You can't do that. But then we're, we're not panicking. It's not a panic station yet. Um, you've been going through the constitution. We have our standing orders and all that. You see, it is when the speaker is sitting 
that you have the majority to the right and then minority to the left of the speaker. That's all speaker is certain. So this who he who believe who about who sits here who say we don't care to hoot. Let them sit down there. I ask them to move, they wouldn't budge. We we'll let them sit there. But let's see what happens after there has been the election of the speaker and then there has been a ruling and see whether they will have the attention. We'll I'm sure Speller 4 will say, please, may I have the origin of the word he ho bali who, please? And the judge will say, Adansi <laughs> Asukwa. All the best to this year's participants of Spelling Bee and more grace to Eugenia and the Young Educators Foundation team. Now, <laughs> he ho bali ho. Oh my God. <laughs> John Peter Ameudo, hard guy from day one, hard guy. I love this guy. <laughs> I mean, my Baba said his 12-year-old son asked him what exactly they are doing, and he didn't know what to tell them. Elderly people, adults, grown men and women will be misbehaving like this. Then when professors use them to teach their students on Facebook that this is not how you should grow up to become, then they will say, ah, contempt, nah, privileges committee. Sure. I mean, chairman crack, though. Chairman crack. Hey, <laughs> poor him. Or say, order. Hey. Order. <laughs> Look, Atajwa was in the house. Atajwa, Atajwa, Atajwa. Woo, 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 woo. Atajwa, love what you do. In fact, you give me, you give me. Yeah, Atajwa. You have brought in your evidence here as your evidence of being served. The honest per our law is not on you to give proof of service. Mr. 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 And there is an order of a high court, a court of competent jurisdiction. And the honorable member, during the arguments or debates on the floor, confidently rose to show himself in defiance of the court's ruling that he should not hold himself as an MP elect. Mr. Mr. Chair, and that is in direct contravention of the Constitution and the rules of this House. Tell them, Atajua, tell them. Now, sisters, take note. If you want her dress some, <laughs> just go to your seamstress or your designer, depending on your area, and tell them that you want to domain Abinya. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't have pillar two, <laughs> don't even try. You understand? <laughs> now, Atajwa's godmother, all right, the dance woman Magadia, she never, ever disappoints. Not once in her life. What? <laughs> the floor what's going on uh maybe the someone hey, is it a fight yeah, yeah that's right they are dragging someone pushing someone wow uh, a lady is being uh, yeah <laughs> yeah what's that's going the on kasua, kasua, uh, how uh, yeah that's right uh, how <laughs> People say I cannot show reporter for sexual abuse. Has he complained to you? <laughs> Some to say that this, this is his gracia You should forget about the other one. <laughs> Let's go for a break now. When we come back, super S gracia Solid stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back from that break. Before all the drama in Parliament, there was a State of the Nation address. The, the, the President, he spoke. This part sat really well with me. Watch. 
we have to talk about Galancé. We who are leaders owe it to the country to take the subject out of the party political arena and have an honest conversation about this menace to our future. Okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, who better to tell us the state of the environment but the environment itself? Ayo, fellow Galliers, Chancy on the moon, Chancy on the moon, Galanqua La Gala, Lau, La Galao, Lau, Fatty Esca. Mm-mm. 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 Yeah, man, this is big possible. Yeah, River Pratt. Ah, it's your way. It's me, what's that? Sikako Konkwa, Shefom. Sikako Konkwa. Why Shefom? Sikako Konkwa. And I think I'll put my presidency on the line. Tell him, bro, for not doors on there yet, there. And the open conversation we had that long ago. It is party Nehiska and excavators. Yes, excavators. They have fried. They have flying and they have thrown. Right now, you be a So open conversation, no? open gate. Yeah, open that, that. Somebody has failed. Somebody must accept us. We must move <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Now, Tamuko, as much as I want us to have more of this, I want you to hear the ex gracia that people are going home with. It's it to motivate you to work hard in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Our job, there's no security of tenor. When you're in public service, they say you retire at 60. This person has come in at the end of the four years. He has to be entitled to it. What we need to do is to carry the public along. There are many of you who comment as if MPs are not deserving of it. In 2016, there was no salary adjustment for MPs. 2017, no adjustment. 2018, no adjustment. 2019, no adjustment. Yet, every public servant, like MPs, got some salary adjustment 2017, about 12.5%, 10%, 12%, and 10%. So all that has been now worked out. So it is not just gratuity, but... Okay, I tell you, but guys, let me start. I'm told the, the S question is between... 400,000 to 600,000. My means it is 4 billion. And now 6 billion. Nipa Baku 6 billion. 275, 6 billion. Meanwhile, we are told that it's a COVID time. We are not in normal time. And as I'm talking, you and I, they are thrashing the thing and the thing is not coming and we are in a normal time. 6 billion, 4 billion, 4 years, parliament. You know, Bekobi. Send the day, no one. They didn't want me to go. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, Ufisa, four billion. Anyway, I'm buying the COVID 19 test number, you know, when you're not with it. Now, high sense of crowd, it's in your muscle. Say who? Tell you, so. What I say, four more to test. Mm-mm.